Hi, this is Stephanie V with your Stunner Shade forecast for the week. Our current temperatures are at a high vigiousness and a low productivity, which is pretty normal for this time of year. We also have a wind chill factor that's making it seem a lot colder than it is. So people, I'm going to need you to bundle up and bring out that thick skin of yours. Also on the west, we have our jet stream that's coming in and bringing an abundance of moopies that might cause some flurries but tomorrow evening we're gonna have some sleet and it might turn into black ice so I'm gonna need you to be very careful because you're not gonna be able to distinguish between a buckethead and a buster over here in the green we have a torrential downpour of worthless baby daddies but you know what I can't say it's gonna get better on during the rest of the week we have Hurricane LaRonda, which is now a Category 4, coming up to the East Coast, which is going to pound the Northeast with frenemies and baby mamas. You know what, people? Just do what I do. Act like I'm somewhere else. Liz, back to you. Liz, you sleeping? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, sis, they were studying us so hard that... I had a headache and I had to take a nap. I'm Miss LIZ. And I'm Stephanie B. Welcome to Sun of Shade Chronicles number seven, where you see us. But we don't see you, baby. Yo, sis, my dream was so crazy. I had this dream we were stuck in the woods and everyone was calling us and hating us and no one could save us. And then you were a forecast chick telling me the weather. And then I was talking about my relationship woes and waka flocka, you didn't even want to help me. What was your dream about? Oh my God, I can't even see in these glasses. That's better. Well, you remember how I was telling you about D, the gentleman, or the boy, that I was, you know, just cool with, and he started hollering at me. Wake up. Oh. And then he said he wanted to start messing around, so we did. We started seeing each other, and we started talking, whatever that means. Then we started dealing and then dating, and then after five years, I asked him, what's up with my title? I thought I was his girl. Did he ever tell you you were annoying? Yeah, he said I was aggravating, but that wasn't the point. He said he wasn't in a relationship. He was confused. His life was complicated, and he had a lot of things going on that was putting too much pressure on it. That sounds like a lot of pressure. How's a lot of pressure? After five years, that wasn't enough time? It is what it is. What do you mean it is what it is? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, my God. He said I was crazy, deranged, that I was bugging out and tripping, and that we were no longer compatible. He was chilling. How did you know? He kept telling me he was cheating. If he went to see his friends, he was cheating. Um, If he went to buy pizza, he was chilling. If he went to play ball, he was chilling. He went to pass the bar, he was chilling. I just don't get why black men have to always say they were chilling. Was there somebody else? Ugh. This chick, this bird brain called me. And she was mad at me and that was my man. Go figure. But and, it didn't mean anything, Liz. Oh, sure. He said that she was a... Nobody. And that she didn't mean... Nothing. And that he just needed a... Break. So, I cried. I was stressed. And I was so devastated. But, but you stayed. I stayed. But then I gave him all the space he wanted. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It was quite entertaining. Did you? What did you do on the break? Oh, girl. I got it in. I learned a few things. I got lots of friends and a whole lot of options, and life was dandy. Walker Flocker. <laughs> you got that right. And nobody suffered from LDS, so I had the time of my life. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and then he started to get clingy. And you became a keeper. Oh, my God. All of a sudden, I was the girl he always wanted. Called me all the time. Told me, baby, baby, he was sorry. Baby, baby, baby. Yeah, and you know what? If I were a boy, I would be just like y'all. <laughs> and the whole time I'm having this dream, I'm thinking about the weather. The weather outside is frightful. But I bet the fire down there is not delightful. Since you have no place to go. Go back to the hole while it snows. Let it go. <laughs>